Now, he's the straight-talking East Ender. His daughter is the former Love Island winner. And together, the Dyers are teaming up to share some words of wisdom as they turn agony ants for a new podcast. Danny Dyer joins us now. So it's all about the noise of the food. That's the crucial part. Oh, my God, honestly, the things we, he comes out with, I just can't... I can't even listen to that man. Like, when we're sitting there doing that podcast, I listen to him and I'm like... How do you get away with what you're saying? <laughs> he just does, and he always has done, Danny. And, and this is why I think this is going to be such a great podcast, because the two of you have got such a good relationship. No, we do. It's, it's so nice. I feel like because my mum and dad had me so young, we do have just such a good relationship. Obviously, they're my mum and dad, but... It's just so nice how close we are. It really is like my friend. I feel like there's no filter with me and we just tell each other everything. Yeah. And so people can write in with any kind of problem at all and you both almost just yeah. chat to them as if they were your mates sitting in the kitchen with you having a cup of tea and you try and sort their lives out. Yeah, that's basically what it is. We wanted to put it out there that we're not trained psychologists or anything like that. We just wanted it to be like that you know it's nice to have a little bit of advice from your friends sometimes and that's what it was for us we just wanted them to feel like they're coming around having a cup of tea and just having a laugh really with us rather than taking anything too seriously yeah and, and there's quite a few coming up isn't it and I know you, you don't want to do lots and have a big backlog you want it to be very fresh every week with fresh sort of stories yeah definitely I feel like because so much does happen so much does change we just want to live in the present um, especially at the minute as well so yeah we film them weekly and then if anything new comes up or anything we need to talk about then we just throw it in there well look aside from the podcast we have to say congratulations Danny little baby on the way I'm very intrigued what dad's advice is about parenting actually <laughs> You know what? He, he thinks he's funny. He's like, I can't believe I'm going to be a granddad. He's like, I'm glad I ain't got to do the night feeds or anything. But he really is like, you just learn it all on the job. You know, I don't feel like you know what you're doing until you're actually doing it. So he is really excited for me. He's like, listen, Dan, as long as they're fed, you give them loads of love, you'll be fine. Yeah, he's not far wrong. But I do know that your mum's taken it one step further and she just wants to move in. So my mum, so we was meant to convert the like spare room into my own little like dressing room. And she's like, oh no, we're going to keep the bed in there. Um, I'll have a picture up there. I'll have my sign up there. So yeah, she's moving in. Oh, she's moving in. Look, take it. I would say that I would have loved that actually. You'll need all the help. And it's so brilliant if your mum's happy to do it with you. And of course, 2020 has been just such a horrible year for everyone. So January is when your little one's due. So it'll be a nice, happy start to a new year for you and the family. Oh no, I can't wait. You know what, I feel like January is always a little bit of a rubbish month, ain't it? I feel sorry for the baby, really, like the January birthday. But you know what, I think it'll be so lovely. Like once Christmas is done and then it'll be January and then it'll be like, oh, when is it going to happen? Of course. And how have you been feeling in amongst all of this? I mean, it's it's very different now going to various appointments and scans and you have to go on your own. It's a, it's a different kind of time for a pregnant woman. It is. I feel like because this is the first time I've been pregnant, I've had nothing to compare it to. I feel like if women have had babies before and now they're going through the whole coronavirus, it is it is difficult. I've, when I, I've been to a few scans and Sammy wasn't allowed to be there and I really struggled because I feel like he's the father of my child. I need him in this room with me. So you do end up having to book private scans because I just needed him there just to... I'm such a worrier anyway. Um, so it was just nice to sort of have him holding my hand. But it is... It is a scary time, it is really. I know, because you have spoken about, I know, on Instagram and everything else, just about the anxiety that you can't help but feel at this point. Yeah. So much anger. I feel like there's always something new. Like, I, I, I've always been like that anyway. I always make a problem out of nothing. So if there's always the gradual things. At the beginning, I had constant headaches and, like, migraines and I couldn't get out of bed and then I thought something was wrong and then when I'm feeling like that, it's always something else. But yeah, I'm just dealing with it now. I have my good days and my bad, but I'm always tired. Yeah, I think I think I that's have fairly take normal. Four hours, yeah. and I still feel the same. Get used to the tiredness, Danny. Is all I would say to that one. <laughs> and of course, things have all changed. I mean, this time last year, you were with the Nativity, the musical. Your dad was alongside you again. You know, things were really heating up. It's such a different kind of end of the year, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's, it's honestly, I, I feel like this year has gone quick, but I feel like it's been like five years in one at the same time. Um, I'm so glad we did Nativity last year. We was a little bit like, should we do it? Should we not? Because we did it the year before. 
but I'm so, so glad we did it, especially with everything that's going on with the arts now, um, which is so, so sad because I love going and watch a show. There's nothing better than going to do that. So it's sort of been nice that knowing that I did that last year and got that last memory. Yeah, of course it is. And would you encourage this little one? And I say little one because we don't know if it's a boy or a girl. You don't want to find out until the big day, which I completely get. Um, would you encourage them down the reality TV route then? What, what are your views on that now that you're becoming a mummy? You know what, I feel like whatever the baby wants to do, it can do in life. Um, I, I would never want to push it to do in reality because it is really difficult. Um, even sometimes now I'm like, damn, was that a good idea? You know, was it? But I feel like whatever it wants to do, it can do. But I think it is difficult because I'm in that world. So to try and keep it away from it, it might be quite difficult. But I feel like once it starts talking, then I'll definitely know what he wants to do. If it's like me as well, oh, God. <laughs> well, Danny, look, best of luck with the whole pregnancy, obviously, and everything that's coming up for you now in January. And like we say, the podcast, Sorted with the Dyers. I love that. It starts, it's out oh, now, okay. isn't it? Yeah, it's out now. There's a new episode out today as well. Brilliant. Thanks so much, Danny. Send your love to our love to your mum and dad as well. Yay. Thanks, Danny. All the best. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.